Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm making a bucket of dishwater, and I'm going to use the dishwater to clean these lower cabinets. I'm also going to use dish gloves to protect my hands, because I always do. I recommend if you're using any kind of cleaning solution or cleaning anything that you use gloves every time. Whatever kind of gloves you can get that will not allow your hand to come in contact with the cleaning solution in the water. So I have my bucket of dish soap ready and I'm going to also get a rag for myself. Let's get started. You can see down here, uh, usually my trash can is right here and sometimes things get splashed onto this and so that's why this is one of the most dirty cabinets in the entire kitchen. So you can just, some people might say, oh I need to repaint it. No, you don't need to repaint it. That costs too much money. Instead just use your dish soap and your rag and wipe it clean instead of repainting it. That looks nice as compared to how it did before. And this dish soap, this is Scentsy dish soap, so you know, because I've been telling you about it, that it smells so good. So I'm kind of enjoying this because I'm smelling that and it's smelling so good. It's a nice fragrance for me to smell. I'm enjoying it. I guess I need to send you the link in the description of this video of where to buy Cincy from somebody that I think you should buy Cincy from if you decide to buy Cincy from anyone because I like to see people who are good people getting the blessings because that's who I think truly deserves them. People that I know are good people. Okay, and that has been wet down. I'm actually going to put this trash can back because I moved it because I always have that trash can there. And I'm going to come down here to the stove, the front of the stove. go ahead and wipe this down as well with this dish water it's not gonna hurt it's just dish soap because it needs to be wiped I can tell from looking at it because I don't usually look at it from this angle and now that I'm down below looking at it from this angle I feel like this needs to be wiped. So when you look at things from different angles, you can sometimes see what has been missed in cleaning. So I recommend that you look at things from different angles because you'll see what you missed in the past when you were cleaning it. See, there's some brown stuff I got off of that. Glad I decided to look at it from this angle and wipe it clean. Now I know it's gonna be definitely cleaner. And I am sitting on the floor and you might think that's not clean, but guess what? I steam cleaned the floor today before I did this, so I 
have steam cleaned this brick floor I'm sitting on before I started doing this today. Now I wiped down the oven, so I'm moving on to this next set of lower cabinets that I'm going to wipe clean. And drawers. And I just like to do the outside of it first. Very dirty, I'm glad I'm wiping it. And then the front. If you have cabinet doors and you haven't cleaned them in a while, you might go take a look and see, are they dirty? Because honestly, this is a lot dirtier than I even, I looked at it and saw it was dirty. But after I see the rag, I'm like, wow, this is way dirtier than I even thought it was. So I'm glad that I'm doing this now. Because I didn't realize how dirty it was. But now I do. I realize that I am doing the right thing by wiping this down. Because it really needed to happen. See, all these things dried on are coming off and they may have germs on them and definitely discoloring the paint, making it not look as nice. So wiping it off is going to make things look better and make things cleaner. So that's going to be two improvements there look better and more sanitary. Just from doing cleaning it. Now I'm gonna get my scrub brush on this little spot. My little scrub brush. Don't need a big scrub brush when you're just doing a little drawer. A little one is best. And that little spot was frustrating. this I'm gonna have to get my scrub brush it looks like something like an egg or something a broken egg or something drizzled down and dried it could be something else I don't usually do eggs right here but you never know it might be an egg As a matter of fact so much stuff on these cabinets I really don't even know what they all are because it's been quite a while since I wiped all this down. And now I see me taking so long to do it is really built up the stuff over time. It gave an opportunity for things to be built up because I didn't do it in such a long time. <laughs> 